Just skip the intro. I got a copyright claim for it last night. It's like, okay, Charlotte broke the camel's back. You're fighting Twilight, really? All right. No, it's literally a self-insert fanfic. Before it was implied to be a self-insert fanfic. Now it's official. Is that Spike? Hello? Ah, and are some miners! Whoa, Spike! Take it easy there. I'm not going to assault you or anything like that. Wait, you can talk? Well, yeah. Whoa, this is incredible! I've always wondered what a nurse of minor sounds like. And you're here for. And it's the wind one version. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep, a real. How do we apply a progression in our characters? Give them wings. Follow me inside. I mean, it makes sense, but it's also like, why? I'm known as Digi Gets Night. You also have to bring a TikTok. It's like it okay. isn't the clock. Digi, water dripping outside. Anything, but mm. Why do you have the unicorn horn on your head? Oh, my horn? Well, it's a long story. It all started when I got. He dueled this evil horse unicorn. guy at Five Nights at Freddy's location. Really? Stop right there. I'm calling foul on that. Do you know how the shit we go through? Happen? Yes, and I'm still calling foul on that. Again, it's a long story, but. I can tell you later at another time. <laughs> mm, all right. I just love that walking style. Click and drag. Hey, yeah, gets the job Twilight done. Is by this door, but I bet you fifteen bits that when I open this door and told Twilight you're here, she would entirely freak out to see an Ursa Minor in her castle. Oh come on! Yeah. I may have for scientific research. I doubt she'll be this jumpy now. It's Twilight. Make it 20 bits. Oh, you are so on. Twilight's not here. Hey, Twilight, you have a visitor. That's weird. I didn't schedule any. Yeah! In Ursa Minor? Well, I guess I'm down 20 bucks. I like how after the uh, trick CP asks, oh, she's learned to be afraid. Oh. I thought she'd be like, science research! No, Meh! Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You can talk? I like how she has magic but gets a bat. Ursa Miners don't speak? That is a scientific impossibility. You're a scientific impossible. I like how an alicorn is calling Did foul you? on science. Yeah. I never got that's that. <laughs> Maybe that's for the joke. At school, when we were having a dueling class at that one point. Years ago, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, she was using a magician deck while no, I, I was using a dragon deck. No, I have a spoil warning for you guys. And Season 10 was going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! focused. <laughs> Maybe I get I'm sorry, what? Yeah, Digi. Tell Spike how I was going to attack you directly with a Dark Magician, and when. No, I had a face-down magic cylinder, and I was going to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon with Monster Reborn in the next turn. We're not. We're two. All right, enough with the silly argument. You're both fully grown adults for Celestia's sake. So it seems that they have an unfinished rivalry. <laughs> Anyways, How old are what you? Happened to you, Digi? The last time I saw you, you were a unicorn. Uh, I already called foul the Twilight. You don't gotta lift a hoof. So, what brings you to my castle, Digi? Well, I came to visit to talk to you about something. But I want to ask, are you a Can I have five bucks? Known as Rongar? Yeah. I'm not familiar with this Grongar. Grogar, on the other hand. Well, about that, it turns out he actually exists. But and using the uh, future season things. In a way. Yeah, he doesn't look nearly uh, as stupid. We're not talking here. Well, he looks almost like the one in the story, 
But the only I don't like this Grogar design. I actually think the season coach. one version looks better. None of that mohawk mane. His tail has more fluff. His harness is more metallic than the one described in the legend. And the colors are swapped. Yellow is the harness, and the red are those... To be honest, I don't know what they're called. But regardless, he looks almost like the one described in the legend. Just with some minor differences. Interesting. Anyways, me and my assistant Zarvox have received a letter from some random mayor who might assume she's either working with the ram or probably just like sending messages to others. She also wears a cloak. Not sure what she's trying to hide, but I, I digress. Mm. It said I should meet him up in this place. No if you like the current Grogar design, go right ahead. You have the right time, to your opinion. I, I think the G1 design looks better. I don't Although this Graham, version I looks the like best, in my opinion. But he was very good. He managed to stop some of my... There's something about that old animation style where it's actually hand-drawn that actually gives it an extra level. Maybe it's nostalgic because I was... Total too. Maybe it's just because it, like, it was my generation back before everything went to Flash, which would turn into whatever it's going to replace Flash, artifact. or has replaced Flash in a well, scientific term. that's how my assistant described it to me. But I'm glad he was able to save me from that. Blood. That is me. We did manage to escape from Grogar before he would get us both. But now, I just assume he went back to his lair with his minions, planning to try to find me or something. Now, before you say anything, Twilight, my reason for coming here is that I actually have a feeling that Grogar and his minions, if he has any, he probably I'm has minions. I'm planning to collect magic and souls of other duelists, and maybe non-duelists, to probably make an army and conquer all of Equestrian. As you do. In order to combat this, I need to gather as many allies as I can. Get, get five teenagers so with that attitude. To fight his army. I'm actually wondering if you and Spike can build to join with me and Sarvox when that time comes. So... Will you and Spike be willing to join with me and Sarvox when that time comes? Hmm. Well, alright then. But in one condition, you have to duel me. That sounds like a good deal. We haven't dueled in a long time, so it would be great to test out your skills, Twilight. Spike, go get my old deck from my room. You got it, Twilight. So, I guess it's your old Dark Magician deck? Correct Amundo, but I've added new cards into the deck since then. Spellbook. Hmm. <laughs> not really surprising. Twilight not reading surprising. books. Why am I not surprised? Well, I say, I like books. Yeah. I guess you're using your old dragon deck? Well, kind of. I'm going to be using dragon rulers. Uh-oh. Dragon rulers? I've heard about those cards. They're some of the rarest cards in existence. I know. My I love assistant this picture. Zarbox managed to show me all three copies of each of them at one point. And I'm glad he did, because... Oh, by the I way, I once said that Blaster so was okay to come back to the fire type. I completely forgot some of my greats existed. So, uh, yeah. Here you go, I changed my mind. Thanks, Spike. Lasting Silence so, needs a fucking Blaster. Do you want to duel? Hmm. I've got a special place where we can duel. Follow me. I mean, I don't know what they would do with it, but it's usually Link material. seen this section of the castle before. It's where Spike and I go sometime to look at the stars at night, or just observe the mountains and stuff. Oh, and I thought this would be a spot where I would like to see what the dragon rules are capable of. <laughs> you picked this spot just thinking to yourself, but what, what if I fight dragon rulers? You're on, Digi. I say it's sarcastically, but it's also like Twilight probably would do that. Nope, the fight is like going counter. Oh, I said you mean the nostalgia. Oh, you look first Twilight. Okay, I'll start off by setting two cards and activate the field spell. The Grand Spellbook Tower, and right there, I will end my turn. Draw! I now summon Cartridge. With it on the field, I can activate its effect. I will send three cards from my deck to the graveyard, and for that, it gains 1500 attack points. Uh oh.
and I'll have Car Trooper attack you directly. Man, took an effect still. Ooh. Man, took an effect there too. I will set a car and end my turn. Draw. I wonder if there ever be rush duels in this. No, there wasn't going to be any turbo or speed duels. Why would there be rush duels? I can fetch a dark magician girl. Next, I activate spellbook. She had spellbooks. You didn't say about magician girls. And I draw two cards. I mean, you could say it's well, obvious from Dark I Magician, but I consider the Magician girls separate from Dark Magician. Now, I'll have it attack your card, Trooper. This isn't like Mermaids of Atlanteans. This isn't like I consider them separate. Just because they can intermix doesn't mean they do. Often. Your lucky card Trooper was Since Earth type. Since card Trooper, I can draw another card. I'll end my turn. Draw! I now send Burner and Whitestone to the uh -oh. graveyard in order to special summon Blaster in defense mode. I can't do much in this turn, so I'll end my turn. And during my end phase, since I discarded Whitestone, I can special summon a Blue-Eyed White Dragon. Draw. Since I control a spellcaster, I can bring one of my spell cards from my graveyard and send it to the bottom of my deck and draw one card. That's the effect with the art spell. I activate its effects, which allows me to fetch illusion magic. Time for the battle phase. I'll have Palladium destroy your blaster dragon. Figures there's no dragon ruler of darkness. I'll end my turn. I activate Pot of Green. Yeah, of course. Alright. I banish Title from my call and Burner from my graveyard to bring back Blaster. Since now I banish Title, I can grab a Judusa Guard Dragon from my deck. I activate my trap, Castle of Dragon Souls. This trap allows me to give one Dragon Monster on my field 700 attack points as long as I banish a Dragon Monster from my graveyard. I will now banish White Stone of Ancients and I target my blaster. Hmm. For power, of course. Now, it's time for an attack. Stop right there. Before you attack my monsters, I activate my trap, Magical Hat. Since I activate this card, I can grab two spell or trap cards from my deck and I choose one monster on my field. And after that, they're in a face down defense. It's two magic formulas. I choose two cards from my deck Magician Circle and Dark Magic Inhibition. I usually throw in a couple cards that are like, when these cards are destroyed, well, in the spell and trap, like, when this card is destroyed by a opponent's card effect, you know. Now, since he's destroyed, I can have blue eyes attack one of your face decks, and I choose the one in the middle. Is he a good your accuracy is, Digi? Nope. That's a miss. Sorry, Empty Hat. And since you destroyed my heart, I can now special summon Dark Magician in defense mode. It's a little late, but okay. For that, I'll end my turn. Now the other draw. spell and trap I grab goes away. Spell my graveyard, place it underneath my deck, and draw one more card. Nice. I activate another spell book of knowledge. I send my spell book of power to the graveyard, and I can draw. So we're seeing spellbook of uh, knowledge without blue spellbook, dude. Next, I switch my dark magician to attack mode, and I activate spellbook of power to equip it onto the monster. <laughs> monster be like, I, I remember when I had those stats. And equip it onto dark magician. Girl. Uh oh. And for a countermeasure, I activate my trap, Lost Wind. I choose the blaster dragon, and for that, its effect is now negated, and its attack is cut in half. Now even if Digi powers them up, it won't be a match for them. It's time for the battle phase. Dark Magician, slay that blue eyes. If Dark Magician had attacked, say, Blaster, Digi could have used the trap card to power him back up. Or, of course, blue eyes to counterattack against Dark Magician. 
He can't do that now. I mean, he couldn't do that now. Obviously. I love a good power has a second effect. Whenever I destroy an opponent, actually, he could have. Battle with the monster well, he did it. With this card, I can add another spell book to my hoop. This time, I add spell book Star Hall. Now, Dark Magician Girl mm, will destroy Blaster. Spell. I will set another card and end my turn. Drop! Don't be scared, DJ. You're only fighting the main character of the so franchise. So I will set a card and set one At least one a generation. Monster. You're up. Draw. I will grab a spell book of power from my graveyard, place it under my deck, and draw one more card. I have to beat my trap to turn gold. Listen, you can't destroy my dark magician. I think I mean the entire and generation of humans. The series, season, the uh, Gen Four. There. Do you mean the Pokemon Gen Four? No, no. Uh, you know what I mean. People aren't stupid. Now, dark magician and dark magician girl attack Digi Not directly now, legends. and end this duel. Alert! Alert! Of course, the Dark Magician slay the blue eyes. Not so fast. Hmm? I activate Damage Diet. Ooh. Crunch. Nice play, Digi. I almost had you there. Thanks, Twilight. I will now end my turn. I draw. I got turn Twilight is a great move. So it looks like she has potential to have. But right now, I'm going to pick up the wave of Mom for me and possibly strike her one. Did you, why does your brain have an echo? I think I drew the car I know. Let's just see if this works. The fact that your head is that empty in order to require that much of an echo is disturbing. Magic or not! I activate Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. I banish the Tempest from my paw and draw two more cards. Since I now banish Tempest, I can fetch a debris dragon from my deck. Nice. Now I will activate my spell card. Harvey's feather dust. Oh jeez. Say goodbye to your back row. That face. Magic formula gave her an extra thousand life points. And since Eternal Soul is destroyed, you know what that means. Ha! Crap. Since now your field is empty, it's time to do this. I'll banish Koki Mayor Drago and Blaster and earn the special summon from my paw. Tempest. Drago in defense mode. They're two dragons. I'll now so. summon With Blaster Star banish, Eater. I can grab a burner from my deck. Now it's time for a synchro. I tune Red Ox and Debris Dragon and order the synchro summon for sheer new this God. Dragon. Not as interesting, not as good as Crimson Blight Eye, well, but it'll do. One more dragon lure summon. And I don't think he ever heard of this one. I will banish Burner and Jujusa in order to special summon Halo Dragon Ruler of the Light. What? Now we're going to fan cards. Now, Star Eater and Halo, strike down Twilight Sparkle. Oh, do I do What the heck? Yeah. Twiley, you all right? Twiley? Yeah, I'm all right. Just the usual pain you get from an attack. That's all. All right. I just wanted to. I've sure. been in a Dragon Ball Z style fight. This is nothing. Anyways, good game, Twilight. Good game, Digi. That was a fun duel. I agree. Especially your dueling skills with that Dark Magician Spellbooks deck. With how well you play in that duel, it seems like you do have potential to help me out after all. <laughs> Thanks, Digi. You're not bad yourself with that Dragon Ruler deck of yours. <laughs> Thanks. The Dragon Ruler archetype is my favorite due to having the most support for a pure Dragon deck. Well, for the most part. Due to adding non dragons in the deck sometimes, like Car Trooper, Avec Valor, Max C, and Grow Up. Anyways, if you want me to stay for a bit, I would like to, but I have to go do something. 
but I, I will crack. contact you when that time comes. And I'm hoping to duel your close friends at some point. To see if they can be able to aid us against Roblox. Alrighty then. See you later, Digi. See you in Twilight. Oh. Hey, Twilight. Is there something else you need, Digi? Yeah. World domination. Can you do this one favor for me? Sure. What is it? Help me conquer the can world. Can you be able to try and find one of your books that might have a spell that can turn me back into a pony? Huh. I'm not sure if I do have such a book, but I'll look into my library at some point. You know, okay. odds are it wouldn't change back because it's now his branding, but it is mind. nice to know that Digi really is trying. I really don't want to be stuck as an Ursa Minor forever. Again, I'll look into my library at some point. <sighs> Alright then. Anyways, see you later. I do like the fact that Digi is at least trying to find new ways in order to turn back into human. That's... that's good. Interesting voice actors you got there. Naturally. And thus, Digi proves that he's better than the main character. Self-insert for sure. See you.